find yourself turning on the fan or air condition more frequently these nights? You may be wondering, why do some nights feel so unbearably hot and humid? Usually in June, a subtle but important change in the weather occurs over the region. The weather these days can range from gusty winds and lashing heavy rains to being hot and dry or warm and humid. Hi, I'm Daryl from Med Service Singapore and today we will investigate. The seasonal onset and retreat of the monsoons are significant changes that mark the seasons in Singapore. Typically, between end May and early June, we will observe a strengthening of the prevailing light and variable winds and a shift of the winds blowing from the southeast or southwest. This signals the transition from inter-monsoon to the southwest monsoon conditions. The southwest monsoon typically lasts from June to September. During this time, the sun is positioned north of the equator. Pressure differences between the northern and southern hemispheres result in winds over equatorial Southeast Asia blowing from the southeast or southwest. Compared to a northeast monsoon season, there's generally less rainfall during the southwest monsoon. Annually, June and September record 146 and 125 mm of rain respectively, with just 14 rain days on average. Climatologically, besides the month of May, June and July are the second and third warmest months of the year, respectively. The southeasterly or southerly winds at night blow over the warm seas and bring warm and humid air over land. That is why we'll feel particularly hot and humid on some nights. Yet on some mornings, we might instead be waking up to heavy rains and gusty winds. Now why is that so? Most thundery showers during the season are largely localised and of short duration and usually occur between the late morning and early afternoon. Other spells of heavy rain during this time of year are caused by Sumatra squalls. Sumatra squalls are typically recognised by the dark shelf clouds that form ahead of the thunderstorm. As the shelf cloud passes overhead, wind speed increases. There have been occasions when a strong downburst and the accompanying strong gust front resulted in trees being uprooted. We hope you have found the information shared in this video useful. You can learn more about the Southwest Monsoon on our website by clicking the link in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Do hit the thumbs up and subscribe button to get more updates on the next episode of Let's Ask MSS.